Hello there and welcome to an episode of Planetary Annihilation Titans with me, Dan. This is a 1v1 ranked StarCast series uh, that I am continuing. So this, on this occasion, is not Star vs. Star. This is Star vs. Cubo, which I think is late silver. Um, and I uh, actually saw, I watched a game of his uh, the other day. So... Uh, I'm focusing on Broom in this one um, because I want to see what Broom has been up to. He was the I chose Broom because he was the last star ranked player to play a match. So um, I am watching this. So we've got uh, Cubas going bots air, uh, bots metal air power, uh, bots maybe, and then two more factories uh, vehicle factories. Broom has gone bots metal air. Getting a um, a firefly out for vision scout massive vision on these. So he's checking what he's up to. But I have realised that something that scouts on their own right at the beginning of matches usually end up with exactly the same. I guess Broom can see that he's got an Icarus out, which is the the aim there. But the, most people start with bots there, so it is a uh, it is an interesting one to scout early. But I guess. Um, seeing these fabricators vulnerable and this Icarus here has made his mind up what to do. Um, I'd, I'd be a surprised if I didn't see a bomber or an Icarus coming out next. Uh, no, no bomber or Icarus. These are so vulnerable. Maybe he's getting some doxes over here. And these. So, so vulnerable. Commander's on power. Uh, Broom has good economy. He's moved over here with three fabricators, it's double double boxing. So in come the doxes, um, but he may have just some defence down by the time these get here. So he's putting defence first. Broom has gone straight into the triple with fabrication. He's got a boom bot there for security, I guess. There's a couple of boom bots. This load of doxes is going out. His air's over here, checking out what's coming out. Obviously, Cuba's seen all his air and has, uh, has reacted with getting um, uh, bot units coming out. So what have we got here? So Cuba's now... They're even on, on metal and power, which is interesting. And Cuba now has a vehicle factory 2 kicking out a vehicle fabricator. My guess he's going into T2 vehicles. Whereas uh, um, Broom has two uh, bot factories. So it's all doxes. All doxes from Broom. I guess they are the preferred uh, meta at the moment. But I, I tend to not use doxes only. But uh, maybe maybe that's uh, where I'm going wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's really pouring out. Oh, he's got some... What are these picking up? What are they dropping off? Nothing? These transport vehicles. I don't know what he's doing with them. I'm guessing he's got a fabric. Has he got a fabric? There's no, nothing in them. He's just bringing them with his air by the looks of things. I think that might be a misclick from Broom. I would have thought he was planning to put fabricators in them and getting them to the islands. But, um. Oh! Uh, what happened there? What? <laughs> what was that? Did he drop something? Do these have any units in them? I don't think they've got units in them. But it looked like he went to go and pick up pick up a fabricator. And they just exploded. Somebody tell me what on earth that was. I'm intrigued. Is that something new? A new glitch that somebody's found? I can't see anything in this. And it didn't drop anything off. And they just died. So, uh, yeah. Please let me know what that's about. That would be really good. Um, I think maybe that's a glitch. I don't know. So Broom's doxes are doing well. Doxes, I think, can cross lava. Uh, I might be wrong on that. You might need hover tanks to get across here, which might be a reason why to get a vehicle factories as well as them being powerful. But oh, he's got a huge amount of doxes, and he's got right into the middle point and I'm guessing he'll put a few factories down here um, it would seem like the wise thing to do at this point especially as he's got tanks coming out here against doxes 
And you've seen the doctors now that they're going to bunch them all up to make sure they're as powerful as they can be. Fabricators sitting doing nothing. Broom. <laughs> T2 bots going up for Broom. Um, but he has almost uh, double the metal. So he can afford to do that. Meanwhile, Cuba is just putting up more bot factories. Lots of factories. T2 bots still going up. He No one... I don't know what those transport were doing I'd really like to know what the why he's got transport in his main main with nothing in and his main vehicles why and he sent that in by itself which is really interesting interesting <laughs> uh, Broom's got these building lasers and walls um what else is going on really this t2 is taking its time but it's almost there his economy is massive and floating uh some bombers coming up for cuba over here but broom does have uh some air floating around just over here he has bombers going around separately checking if there's anything that he can get that might be a bit uh compromised these bots are going to get mashed by that bomber. And Broom splits them up, but it's probably not enough to stop most of them going down. Especially if he doesn't have any air, anti-air near here at all. He's bringing it in now, but it's a bit late. Um, but he's grouping his air up here. Okay, T2 is getting a kernel out. I think... Broom is uh, memeing a little bit here with a colonel. Unless he's going to... Oh, uh, please bring a colonel on a transport broom. Please do that. <laughs> I want to see that. A colonel on the transport right into his base. Like right here somewhere. That'd be great. Colonels are brilliant. They're like commanders. Um, but they've got very, very strong anti-air and very strong um, um, guns on them. Cannons. Broom's still getting lots of air out. Um, he's focusing on power now because that is potentially his issue, especially with this uh, kernel being built. Up here. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Tired. Um, up here he's getting a artillery uh, pelter. Good idea, um, but he will need radar there as well, which I'm guessing he will get. What can Broom see? He can't see anything at the moment. I'm assuming, yeah, he's putting radar up. He'll see those. The pelters will take all those units out. I really hope I can see. I can. This game has not got too much left. I really hope I can see what he's going to do with this kernel. He's pushing it out now as fast as he can. I want to see what's going to happen with that kernel. <laughs> Here comes the kernel. What are you going to do with it, Broom? Have you got transport? No, you've got air factories. Gonna get out of transport. Please get out of transport. Yeah, he's getting out of transport. <laughs> I want to see what he does. Kiba does has noticed that he's defended this bit well, so he's bringing all the units around the bottom, which is a great idea. But Brim will see that very, very soon. There we go. Seen it already. And oh, here goes the colonel. He's put a colonel down on the front line. I'm guessing that wasn't the original goal. But let's see what a colonel can do against lots of T1 units, flame tanks and doxes. They have quite a high fi uh, fire rate. But he's also building and he's moving it behind <laughs> behind all these walls. He's taken out this entire... <laughs> oh my word, the splash damage of colonel's guns is amazing. Didn't realise it had such big splash damage. But one colonel well managed colonel did an absolute stellar job at taking out that entire uh, group of units that's very impressive is he getting out another colonel now no he's getting out locusts which can can go across lava i know that much and will gobble up buildings in no time they are very very fragile though so you can't get them near units um and as marshall always says i hope to see these are scouted beforehand. Oh, and in comes the colonel into the base. 
Oh, Broom, what a mean move. I like that very much. Well done. Takes out the air. I'd like to see where these are going. Um, yeah, he's, so he's using his colonel as a, as a scout. I'd like to see these get into these buildings. Um, the commander is there, though. And he's just trying to push now with... I've got a huge amount of sparks in the mix in over here. This colonel is totally mincing his base. <laughs> I've, not, <laughs> I've not seen that kind of play in a long time. I love it. Putting a wall up, stop the commander getting the colonel. It's the only thing that can really stop him now, to be honest. Um, but look at these locusts go to town. They're gobbling up all these buildings. Come and get them on the power. The TT's going to go down really. Look at the health of the TT again. The locusts just like gobble, gobble, gobble. And the colonel is using his walls very effectively. He's built walls and he's shooting the commander at the same time. <laughs> um, yeah, great, great move there. And I guess Broom knows who Cuba is on the rank scale. He knows that he can probably afford a uh, you know a, a, a meme style um, unit attack it's bringing in more locusts look at them eat the buildings they just they're just incredible units if you can get them into bases look at it go <laughs> good game <laughs> good game now that was a very typical broom move um, I need to see broom against another uber I think well not uber star ranked um, because I want to see what he does when he's playing seriously. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you all later. Bye!